Obviously, you guys made a debut on national television with Shark Tank. What was that process like for you guys? Was it normal, straightforward? It looked pretty cool. I, I watched the clip. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it was. It was insane. Uh, it was the last. It was the furthest thing from straightforward. Like I feel like I grew up in entrepreneurship alongside Shark Tank because Shark Tank's been around for about eleven years now, and that's like right around when like my interest in startups initially peaked. And I've like I really don't watch any TV, but probably the one of the few things that if it's on, I'll like kind of watch is Shark Tank. And so I've always said it to my friends like I want to go on Shark Tank one day, like half jokingly, half real. Um, none of my startups historically have been a good fit for it because of the price point or, or something else, and so. You know, I think very early Blue Land days, I was like, oh my God, we have to go on Shark Tank. You know, the price point is so right. It's the $2 tablets, it really is a mass market price point. We went through the traditional process that's on their website. You know, we made it a submission video. The whole thing is pretty time consuming because you have to, like we probably put together a, like a 10 to 15 minute, minute video to submit. And then, you know, you go through several rounds and there's just like, like literally hundreds of pages of paperwork that you have to fill out. You like fill out these essays, like applying to college. Um, they do extensive background checks, you know, et cetera. And then it's not over till it's over. Like you can go to LA, you can film. And still, I believe like half of people don't ultimately air. And so yeah. like, I think we were out in LA for like 10 days in a hotel room, kind of like waiting around. And obviously there's a lot of practice that goes. And that's all on you guys, right? The travel and everything. Yeah, yeah and that's all on us and every step of the way. Like even once you get to LA, you know, you may not film, you know, even if you film, you may not air. And so, you know, there's definitely a lot of questions like, is this the best use of our time? But it just felt like I continue to believe Shark Tank is probably the most valuable, like organic pieces of like marketing or PR out there that's still available. And so for sure, television in general. Totally. What was the prep process like? Did you know ahead of time which judges would be there? And did you research any of them to know their tendencies and whatnot? Like, I guess my mantra in life is like, I always come prepared. And so I think I ended up watching like every single episode of Shark Tank that's like ever. Like literally, I think I watched like all 11 seasons. We didn't know who the judges were until the day before. And so we kind of had to like really research all of the folks that could potentially be there. You know, it was all hands on deck. And at that point, I think we were like a seven person team. Um, and three of us were in LA, two of us were going on air, but pretty much for probably seven days, like every day, the whole team was on, like just grilling, grilling us with questions on Google Hangouts. Was it a bit of a battle to, to see who would come, go on television with you? Or was it, was it pretty clear? People were like, you guys are really good at this. It's just you two. We ended up bringing on our scientist, uh, our head of formulation. It was part of like, the routine we wanted to do, we wanted to like lean into the science and like the like a wacky scientist thing, but he was probably going to be the best counterpart to me to like if there were any extreme like questions that I wasn't going to be able to answer. I've always been curious. The the deal that is struck on the big screen is that the same deal that's struck behind the scenes, or are there changes made to that after the fact? I mean, it's all really up for grabs because I think what happens on the set, right? Like as you see it on TV, like the terms are very, very, very general. And so there's just a lot of, you know, in the weeds that you don't sort out. And so, you know, there's, there's still, you know, a lot of other discussion to be had sort of after you walk off the set. And did the investors from uh, that ultimately bought in, did they have a lot of say going forward, a lot of input, or did they kind of stay in the background? What was their role after the fact? Yeah, so we've been we've been really fortunate. Um, so we ended up doing a deal with Kevin O'Leary, who did not expect to be the one we did the deal with, um, especially because he's very valuation and multiples focused. Um, we went on Shark Tank just one month after we launched, so we didn't have much of a track record or revenue to show for. But you know, he ended up being intrigued, and I think I say we're lucky because he's been. He's been just a great balance of like being supportive and being like very reachable, but you know, not, not like getting in, in our way. And so um, it really has just been upside for us. He's been really good about 
He's on TV probably about once a week, so he's really good about like name dropping us when he can, you know, looking out for opportunities for me to go on TV with him. Um, he brought us onto QVC like one week after Shark Tank aired, I was on QVC with him. Um, and then after that, I ended up going on QVC like five or six more times. So it's been, it's been great. Like we text all the time, we get on the phone. It's He's been shockingly accessible. Mr. Wonderful, he's yeah. holding up to it's his neck. It's great name. to hear. Hey everyone, thanks for checking out that clip. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit the like button down below. And if you're interested in hearing the full episode, it's out right now on our YouTube channel. We've had a lot of great guests come on this show before, and we've got a lot of great guests coming up in the future. So hit subscribe so that you don't miss a single episode. And one final note, we're always looking for new ideas and new companies to feature on the show. So if you know of someone or know of a company, write us a comment down below letting us know who they are and what they do. We'd be happy to have them on the show. Till then, I'll just be here waiting for your comments. So, uh, See you later.